Well, it's that time of year again, folks. ServiceMate has just done their annual launch event on YouTube uh, and dropped a whole bunch of new features and functions. A lot to digest, uh, but I thought I'd do a quick summary of some of the key things. Uh, most surprising and, and most exciting and maybe uh, most interesting of uh, the releases, I think, is the fact that they've finally gone and built an Android app which I never thought would happen. Uh, but here we go. We've been working on a solution, an app that allows these type of workers to complete their core tasks, access their schedule, track time, add notes, and capture photos, all from a non-Apple device. So I'm very excited to introduce ServiceMate Lite for Android. I never thought it would happen. Uh, and <laughs> admittedly, ServiceMate have said it would never happen. Uh, I recall distinctly a conversation that happened at an event um, where one of the ServiceMate team said to a, an unsuspecting bookkeeper that asked them about when are you going to release an Android app, and I believe the comment was, what are you, an idiot? Well, the idiots have won. So finally, we have an Android app for ServiceMate. It's a very basic app. It's ServiceMate Lite. Uh, it's designed for a worker or a contractor to be able to receive a job and interact with it, so it's definitely not the full-blown app like you get on iOS, um, but it's a start um, and it's it's going to make a big difference because it is it has been a hurdle and a roadblock for a lot of people on using ServiceMate um, for their staff. It just hasn't been practical for everyone to, to be given a, a device, an iPhone or an iPad. So um, yeah, pretty, pretty exciting. Um, interested to see how this has an impact on how service mates used out there um, and the types of businesses that it can work for. Um, so I think that's probably the most uh, the, the most uh, impactful release, I guess, um, of this uh, of this update. But there's also been a couple other really cool things. Something that we've been um, pushing for for a long time uh, is tasks improvements to tasks because tasks in service mate have been useless forever. Uh, it's something that that we've kind of said to people. Well, tasks are there, but it's really basic. You, it's it's almost non-usable. Well, tasks have been combined with checklists uh, and checklist items in job cards now. Uh, so they've combined the two. Uh, and a little bit of information about it. We'll play from here. Let's, let's talk about tasks. We've had a lot of feedback for improving tasks. Today, the task feature evolves into an all-new, easy-to-use, and powerful checklist. Let's check it out. Currently, you create a checklist by adding dashes in the job description. It's fast and simple, but not very discoverable. Some of you probably didn't even know about it. Anyway, first, we're bringing checklists to the online job card. Now, you can easily see checklists on a job if a checklist task is done. Heaps better. That's heaps better. Uh, and so tasks will now will checklist items will now be available in the web console, much more improved in the app. You'll be able to assign tasks to particular people. You can put due dates on them. We can make tasks um, appear for someone when they check into a job or check out of a job. Um, so heaps more usable. So this is a great, this is a great update um, because tasks have for a long time been pretty much useless. Checklists have been good, but this is a really, really good improvement um, to that to that component. Um, next one is some big changes to the job card. You can kind of see it here in the background, but the job card in the web console on the dispatch board has had a major update. Um, so it's um, a lot more uh, easier to view. It uses the space a lot better. There's an auto save function, so you don't have to hit save or close. Um, there's an undo and a redo button. Um, within the job card now. It's just a heaps more efficient way to manage all the information that's in the job card and, and access what you need when you need it. So much better way to manage a lot of info because there's a lot of stuff in the job card. Um, so the billing tab has slightly changed. It's a better layout with better information. So again, another really good improvement. Um, and then the last one to highlight would be um, a new payments option. So there's now a, uh, a feature, they've released ServiceMate Pay, and there's a feature called Pay2. So Pay2 is an alternative to taking card payments. 
Um, just on the card payments, there's been an improvement to Stripe um, processing fees, the transaction fees, so they've been reduced. But there's now this new option of pay to where it's not for card payments, it's for bank transfer, but it's a much easier way to make the um, transfers uh, easier for the client. Uh, so let's have a little play at that. So we're excited to support new payment options that cost far less than cards. Introducing Pay2 in Australia, Pay by Bank in the UK, and Link Bank Payment in the USA. They're a fast, easy, and secure way for your clients to transfer your money. The customer just needs to tap in their phone number or banking details, verify the payment in their banking app, and bam, it goes through. Customers don't need to type in your account details manually so they can't get it wrong. Plus, you get instant confirmation of payment just like when clients pay by card, and it updates the payment status in ServiceMate automatically. Looks like a heaps uh, easier option to get money from the clients without having to worry about them doing all your, the typical bank transfer stuff. So that's a really good feature. Um, there's a bunch of little tweaks um, that have been made to the format of um, customer names. Um, badges are heaps more customizable and easier to see in the app. Um, you, can, you can now add multi-day bookings that show up better in the scheduler. So you'll be able to see it's, it's day one, day two, day three, day four. So a much better way for, for seeing those multi-day bookings. Uh, branded SMS is now available on a premium plan, not just the top plan. Um, and there's been some improvements to the search functionality. Uh, so lots of little tweaks there. Proposals has had a um, had a big, a big uh, facelift. So you can now customize the design of the proposals uh, is a better way of building the proposals with the components and ordering and um, just the layout of everything. And you can now, there's a big one, you can now create and edit proposals in the app. Um, so in the iOS app, not in the Android app, um, but that can happen in the app now, whereas it was only in the web console before. So that's a, uh, that's a really good facelift for proposals. There's been some changes to forms. Uh, so once a form has been completed and submitted, they are now fully editable in uh, with uh, the the form responses in the web console and in the app. So once a form's been completed and submitted, you can open it back up and you can basically adjust any field. Um, it still removes any signatures off the completed form, so you'd have to re-sign. Uh, and if you make changes to a form, it keeps the version history. So you can see the original version, the updated version. Um, you can now take uh, deposit payments um, on quotes, so you can add a default percentage of deposit payment required upon acceptance of a quote um, or a proposal. So that'll pop up, the client accepts it, it says, okay, now you gotta pay a deposit um, to kick off the, the job, so that happens automatically. Uh, there's been some improvements to auto-write with the um, AI. Uh, so you can now, uh, previously the um, auto-write was just for the entire block of text, you can now select just certain lines and rows of text and improve those. Um, so just a, a better use for um, the AI auto write um, and uh, some improvements to network request. Um, so network requests now show in their own area within the job card and it's just heaps easier to manage to keep a track of um, what's done and what's not done. And it just shows better in the job diary. Um, so there was a bunch of other stuff as well, but they're kind of the key, uh, the key improvements. So. Well done, service mate. Really good release. Um, lots of interesting comments in the live chat. It's worth watching the the, um, the release if you have the time. Uh, but these things will be dropping uh, and available to um, people very, very soon. You'll be able to opt in to the new version just like in previous years. But of course, if you want help with it, if you want to do a refresher session, uh, that's exactly what we're here for. So I'm happy to run you through the improvements and all this cool new stuff. Uh, and uh, make sure you're using ServiceMate to its potential. That's what we're here for, because ServiceMate is awesome. Well done, guys. Very impressed. Nice work.